Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Um, we have a little simple mixed operations problem with uh, multiplication and addition. And the problem we've got is 60 plus 6 times 0 plus 1 equals. Um, if you'd like to, you could pause the video at this point and um, we will come back and work it out together. This one's pretty easy, um, but I do see a few mistakes made. Uh, on solving this, and so we'll go through it together in a in a couple of seconds. All right. First of all, we just remember that multiplication has precedence over addition and subtraction. Multiplication um, is nothing more than shorthand for repeated addition. Um, so you see that you have 60 plus 60 times zero plus one. Um, one of the mistakes I see often is people will add 60 plus 60 and then multiply by zero and then add one. Um, but uh, actually the way this works is um, you've got an order of operations which is basically four steps. Um, first you've got, you look for parentheses or, or brackets depending on what you call them. Um, they're just grouping symbols. That's really all that those are. They tell you that if you see brackets or parentheses that you want to um, prioritize the order of operations inside of those. And um, so there's basically three operation steps that follow that. Uh, the second one would be exponents, um, also sometimes referred to as orders or indices. Things like square roots fit in there. Uh, number three would be multiplication and division left to right, and then addition and subtraction left to right. Um, you can think of exponents as a shorthand for repeated multiplication. Um, you know, subtraction is the addition of a negative number. So, you know, multiplication and division have equal precedence. Addition and subtraction um, also would have equal precedence. So those are the things you want to keep in mind. You want to keep in mind that relationship between multiplication, division, addition and subtraction uh, and then the order of operations should make should make perfect sense um, so other, here what we start with is we start with the multiplication um, in this case it's uh, um, 60 times 0 which is 0 and then you have 60 plus 0 plus 1 equals 61 so the correct answer would be 61 um, I'll see a lot of people do things like answer with 1 or uh, sometimes I've even seen some odd ones like 121, uh, which is really uh, anyone getting like 121 is really just forgetting what 60 times zero, anything times zero is zero. But the only thing multiplied by zero is 60. Um, and again, I mentioned this before, but multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. Um, so you could replace this multiplication, the 60 times 0, um, with addition. You can replace that with equivalent addition. So what is 60 times 0? Well, it's uh, the same thing as adding 0 60 times. So um, I know this looks ridiculous. And this is why I refer to multiplication as being shorthand. Much easier to write 60 times 0 than it would be to add up 60 zeros. which Adding 60 zeros, I know it seems ridiculous, but I'm trying to make a point here that it really doesn't matter how many zeros I add, you're still going to have zero. If I keep adding nothing to nothing, you're still going to have nothing. Um, so if you take 60 and you add 60 zeros to it, and then you add one, what answer do you think you're going to get? You're going to get 61 uh, for the answer. So... Um, I hope this one's been helpful. Hopefully you got the right answer. Um, but if not, hopefully you understand um, why the answer would be 61. And hopefully you've got a, a better understanding here of the order of operations. So um, hope everyone has a great day. Uh, look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.